Right, Warren, as you can imagine, some parents are feel, having mixed emotions about this new policy. Here's what we know so far. Students will be given a pouch at the beginning of the school day. They'll put their phone in that pouch, which will then be locked. They'll get to carry that pouch around with them throughout the day, but it will remain locked until dismissal. As students head back to class next week, Bullard High School is becoming a cell phone free campus. Fresno Unified Board Trustee Terry Sladek says the bold move is to help students focus in class. People realize that we need to save education and we can't keep doing the same stuff we've always done and expecting a different result. He points to the success of other schools adopting similar policies, including current Bullard principal Armin Teregian's last campus, Tanaya Middle School. Now, that was a very relatively easy thing to implement with 12 and 13 year olds when there's 900 kids on the classroom in the, in the campus. Well, here we got 2,600 kids and they're 18, 17, 16, 15. It's a little bit harder to get them to shift you know, that course and say, okay, we'll put them there because they don't do it. That's where these yonder pouches come in. Some entertainment venues use them to keep audiences engaged and prevent online leaks from concerts and shows. Now, I don't think they should be away totally locked up. If um, they become a nuisance, like during class time, I, you know, I understand, you know, them having rules and regulations and having to not have them on the phone during school time. Many parents and grandparents say they do see the need to cut down on phone time in the classroom, but are concerned with a complete lockdown, especially during an emergency. But in the event that emergency should happen, it kind of, at least if you got that little text message across and some communication across would be like better than not hearing from them at all. Sladek says there will be times when students will have access to their phones, noting every teacher, coach and administrator will have a key to unlock the pouches. The Fresno Teachers Association sent Action News this statement saying, quote, however one might feel about the policy, any policy change that doesn't include the authentic input from stakeholders is disingenuous and unfortunately, this seems to be common practice in Fresno Unified. It's a sentiment some parents agree with. I do think it was made without input, and it's not fair to the parents or the students. There are still some questions surrounding this new policy, including when exactly it will go into effect. Sladek says those questions will be cleared up in the coming weeks. The principal here at Bullard will have several meetings with parents in the coming weeks to address those concerns. Of course, you can count on us to keep you posted as we learn more. For now, live in Northwest Fresno, I'm Nick Garcia, ABC 30 Action News.